<laughs> Hello. <laughs> There's nobody in here. This is an unannounced live, so I don't know if I will get anybody in here, but I thought I would do a quick vlog and maybe a mail opening and show you some of the stuff that I've got in and talk about what's new with Beans Bag and what's coming up for tutorials. Um, I mean, I haven't been on in so long. So we'll just give it a couple minutes and see if anybody else will pop in. And if not, then I'll just keep going on and uh, uh, showing what we have. So again, thank you everybody. Um, welcome to my channel again. This is Beans Bag vlog number 18. Hard to believe that I started this channel almost exactly a year ago today, where I actually started doing the vlogs as a way of, um, well, I was having a hard time with COVID about a year ago and I had lost a few people due to it and this was just a way for me to get by. Now it's my business full time, which is amazing. I see a couple of you poking in there um, or popping in there. Say hi, let me know where you're from, who's all out there on this wonderful Saturday and it's snowing in April here, which is not usual, kind of sucks. Can everybody hear me okay? I'm hoping I have everything plugged in correctly. Hello. Hello, everybody. Who's out there? I'm not sure if it's going to show. If somebody can just shoot a comment just to make sure that I have the setup right so I can see the comments. Oh, there we go. Hi, Kathy from Florida. Sunny Florida. It must be nice. We have like this frozen rain thing happening up here in Kamloops, BC. Um, not typical for April. But uh, actually, it's mine and my husband's 23rd wedding anniversary tomorrow. And we were actually thinking about going camping this weekend just to kind of get away as a little um, getaway for us. But I'm kind of glad we didn't. We would have frozen. Usually, we would go to Vancouver. Uh, there's Diana from Detroit. Hi, Diana. Thank you for tuning in. Um, usually, we go away to Vancouver um, and stay with my brother. But due to our lockdown here... Uh, we can't. There's Shirley from the UK. Very cold. Aw. But thank you for tuning in from UK. What time is it there? That must, I think you're like probably eight hours ahead or 10 hours ahead or I don't know, something like that. Can everybody hear me okay? Can you just give me a thumbs up or let me know that it sounds all right? It's 5 p.m. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. There's Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda. Okay, thank you. Perfect. All right. Well, I said it's completely unplanned coming in. Okay, great. I'm glad you hear me. Okay, good. Um, I actually have some new lighting here. I don't think I have it set up properly. I'm hoping it makes me look younger than I am. I don't know, kind of vain, but uh, <laughs> I will take all the help I can get. Um, again, my brother and my sister-in-law are photographers and they have given me some of their old equipment, which I'm hoping will help my videos and the lighting, especially in my studio here. I want to show more at my machine here. Does it look brighter? I am sitting at my machine. Does it look brighter than it does in my videos? Um, I would love the feedback to know if this lighting definitely helps. Uh, hello, Jeanette from Greenfield, Indiana. Thanks for tuning in. Um, my brother also gave me a new mic, but I haven't had a chance to uh, figure out how it works yet and to get it all situated. So lots of uh, stuff trying to make it so my tutorials will be better. Okay, speaking of tutorials, I know I've been slacking so much last month or so. You look very young. Oh, thank you, Kathy. I'm not that young. I'm actually turning 46 on May 1st. I hope that still means I'm in my mid-40s. I don't want to quite be in my late 40s yet. Um, I still haven't recovered from my 40th birthday. I haven't recovered from my 30th birthday. <laughs> I think the hardest thing was that uh, my youngest baby uh, just turned 20 on March 23rd as well. So I just don't believe I have a 20 and almost 22 year old uh, sons. It's just the time goes so fast. Oh, it's just the baby. Oh, thanks, Rhonda. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's start first. Tutorials. I've been getting lots of messages asking where I have been, making sure I'm alive, and I apologize. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I had quit my uh, full-time admin job because I couldn't keep up with my bag making business and the admin job together and then with COVID and everything there was a good chance of being laid off and 
yeah, I just decided, you know what, life is short. I need to just do what I love. So I dive full force into my bag making business. Um, it's going very well. Surprisingly, with uh, COVID and everything, I didn't think I would be that busy, but I am swamped busy, especially this month. Um, I'm a people pleaser. I have a hard time saying no. And I had already was booked fully to June, making about two and a half to three bags a week. Um, leaving a day for tutorials or a day for selfish sewing or prepare, uh, preparing stuff for markets when they happen. Again, hopefully they will happen next Christmas season, fingers crossed. Um, but a bunch of people wanted Mother's Day stuff and I mean, it's money. I couldn't pass up the money and uh, I couldn't say no because I was just so touched that they wanted one of my bags. So um, I've been sewing nonstop and unfortunately my YouTube side of the business ended up uh, kind of being pushed to the side. But there's lots of exciting stuff coming up at the end of this month, May and June. So tutorial wise, what do I have planned? The next one for sure that I have to do, um, I actually would have done it already. As you know, I do, um, I'm trying to get through all the Shambhala uh, patterns. Um, I have a great relationship with Sami, who is the designer, and I told her I will eventually get through them all. But again, there's not enough time in the day. But she just released the new Harmony bag, which is really cool. It's a fringe bag. Um, and I'm just waiting for the fabrics that I chose for those that bag to arrive so I can do that tutorial. So I'm hoping they arrive soon. I ordered them about two weeks ago and they're still not here. Go figure, Canada Post. Um, <laughs> but they will be here eventually. Um, so that'll probably might be my next tutorial. If it comes up, that'll definitely be done. There's another uh, Shambhala Alpha Pack tutorial coming up. I believe she says the release is around March 27th or so. So that one is high priority. So I want to try to have that one done within a couple days of the release of that. So everybody has that. Um, there's a new Aura Rosa uh, pattern coming out on end of April sometime. And I've touched base with uh, Alexis and I will be doing that tutorial as well. So that one's coming up. And then I had done a... Uh, a poll because I couldn't decide whether to do the Aura Rosa Esperanza bag or the Trixis Designs Malona bag. I think that's what it's called, the Malona bag. Do you know what? Between the Facebook and the YouTube, they pretty much tied. So I am doing them both. I don't, I think the Esperanza one by just a little bit. So I'll be doing that one before the Malona. So I got to fit those ones in here pretty quick. Um, yeah, uh, just, just so many great patterns out there right now that... I want to be able to make all the things and sew all the things and make all the videos so you guys uh, have that uh, that visual of how they were made. And I really appreciate all the support and everything that you that you give by tuning into my channel to do that because um, I really do love what I do. So um, any questions about the tutorials? Are there any requests for tutorials that I should be putting on my list? Um, to hopefully get done. I said I have those bags to go. Um, I actually just made, I actually have it right here. I made another she bag. You guys probably have seen this on my page. I did modify this in a way. Um, in my tutorial, I did it as per the pattern, but now with my newfound love for binding, I decided to try the style with a binding finish. And I mean, look at the shape is perfect. This turned out so perfect. And you can see I have, can you see in there? It's really hard to see with binding and everything. You can see right there, I got some binding. So I just actually was talking to Beatrix of Trix's Designs this morning um, to see if I could do like a uh, kind of an add-on video to my original uh, tutorial for the style of bag, showing a different way to show uh, how to finish it off with the binding. So all the panels, the front panel and the back panel will go together the same and I won't show that in my video. Um, it'll just be once we have all of our pieces, what we do and how we modify it to do a binding finish. So I hope that that one will be of use. I'm thinking that may be June or July. We will see. I don't know. I make these promises and then I can't keep them. So <laughs> hopefully. So let me show you the bags that I have done. So this was one uh, that this one was a rush out order. Um, this is actually going out to someone for her birthday. 
Um, hello from Portugal. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Celia. Thank you so much for tuning in Portugal. That's crazy. So far away. Um, so this one is done with the vinyl, uh, Rex vinyl or Rex full of leather from, um, Emily and Bags. This is the teal color. Uh, the, uh, Outside fabric is the uh, Tula Pink's line works. Hi, hi, Dawn. Oh, Maple Ridge. You're just like a neighbor. You're not that far away. That's awesome. Thank you for tuning in. So yes, this one is going out to actually Surrey, BC. So that's the back side there and there. And then my zipper pulls I actually ordered from my handmade space, um, which I love them. And then of course the interior. So so incredibly in love with how this one turned out um where is did I even bring it oh I did I also did for this the matching necessary clutch wallet and I just trust me I am not great at fussy cutting I just got really lucky with this one so um necessary clutch wallet I mean this is the first wallet I ever made and it's like my go-to it's just amazing um Janelle from Emmeline Bags designed this one so that was one of the bags I made this weekend or this week. Uh, I mean, it's been crazy sewing the last five days. Um, what else do I have here? Okay, believe it or not, you're great. Love your news. Thank you, Celia. So this may be unrecognizable. This is actually the Pelican Tote by Bagstock Designs. Um, doesn't look much like a tote anymore. This was like just, it's so amazing when you do it all in vinyl. It just makes it, gives it this really good... Uh, designer bag look. So this one I'm actually delivering to my cousin Amy here in Kamloops. She ordered this. So this one is incredible. It's very heavily modified. Um, I did the hidden connectors. Uh, I put the rectangle rings on, down, on so the straps can flop down. I did rolled handles on them. This is one of my new favorite things. I learned how to do this through lavender and twine, um, the Rimnasia pattern, which is amazing. Added a cross body strap and connectors. Um, it has the recessed zipper and then of course her beautiful lining. So very pleased with how this one turned out. So I do have a tutorial of this bag, the Pelican Toad already, if you haven't seen it. Um, it's the fancy version. Uh, but, but it won't have like the crossbody strap on it, but I believe I do the connectors. I don't know. Hi, Mona from Denmark. Wow. We got people from all over the world today. This just, it just excites me, um, at how small the world is with the internet. We are so lucky. I couldn't imagine going through what we're going through right now with the pandemic. If we didn't have the internet, we would feel so isolated, but this is just makes it so we're all here together. So this is great. Okay, so that was another one I did this week. Um, okay, this powder I have a love-hate relationship with. Um, this is the Clo the Clover Convertible uh, Pack from Blue Cala. It's it's a gorgeous, gorgeous pattern. I I had made this last oh when I first started, which it probably wasn't about three years ago. It wasn't the best pattern to start as a beginner with. Um, so it's hard. I, I think this is probably the hardest uh, pattern that I've ever done. And it's mainly because of this train case on the bottom. But I got through it. I said the other three that I have made of this was before I had my industrial. And uh, it was just as hard on my industrial. So. But I mean, it's, it's worth it. So yeah, the Clover convertible backpack. This is going to Wanda in Lake Country. Let me show you a little bit of what this is. So it's not like a, it's got a backpack here and it can be converted into a crossbody, a shoulder bag, backpack. It's got a handle here to just carry. Um, it's got the two zipper pockets here. They're not super deep. They only go in about, well, obviously to where that is there on each side. Um, it's got magnetic snaps on the side. And that's the first bottom. So I got the two slip pockets and the zipper here. I mean, it's a, it's a great pattern. It's, it's just hard. <laughs> I find it very hard. Um, and then of course it's got the train case on the bottom here. So this bag, the top part when you make it is a turning finish, but the bottom part is a 
binding finish. So keep that in mind if you if you make this. Um, again, I've gotten much more comfortable with binding since uh, learning a little more about it. I'm hoping to make a binding tutorial soon. I just have to uh, practice a little bit more because I want to not look like an amateur when I show you guys how I do it. So. <laughs> Well, then again, you know what? I have already showed you how I do it on, on uh, my Erica Bowler bag and the Magdalena bag. So I guess you've seen me struggle through it already. But I've really started to love the binding method. I think every single bowler bag I do now, because I hate doing a drop in lining, um, it will be with the binding method because it's just so much easier once you've got it figured out. Anybody else out there do lots of binding? Like, what are your feelings on binding? I'm curious. Hi, Dawn. The tumbleweed toilet tree tote by Blue Cow is a hard one, too. I have three orders for that one, of course. It's because her patterns, the bags, are so, like, how gorgeous is this? And I guess uh, they are gorgeous because they're complex. So, yeah, I'm going to have to check out. I haven't done the tumbleweed tote before. I've done her, uh, I don't remember what it's called. It's like a double zip men's toiletries bag. Juniper. Juniper? Yeah, I don't remember. But she does have a YouTube channel uh, that does some tutorials. She does her own tutorials. Nobody else does her tutorials. So uh, maybe they have, she has it on her channel. You have to check it out. Uh, she, she has great tutorials, uh, Celine. I think her name is Celine over at Blue Cala. So make sure you check those out. Um, oh, I'm on a cord. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now, please? No sound. You can hear me now? I'm good? Okay. My leash came unplugged. <laughs> okay, so sound is good to go. Okay, perfect. Thanks, guys. Sorry about that. I mean, I'm still learning all this video stuff, so I it's probably going to be better once I get the actual uh, microphone my brother gave me set up. So, yeah. Okay, so we're good to go. Next bag, the stone crop uh, satchel. This is the new blue cala one. Um, I love this pattern. This one um, also is going out to Wanda in Lake Country. She chose uh, the exterior to all be done in cork. So this is the uh, cherry red cork and the black cork from MM Cork Supply. I mean, it's gorgeous. So it is a recessed zipper. And she chose this fabric from Spoonflower and it's sea urchins. And it's just, it's so nice and colorful. Um, so it has a slip pocket or two slip pockets and a zipper pocket on the inside. I'm going to do a meet the videos on all this. Bag of the Month Club patterns are available on the Visual Designer's own website after the season is over. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So this is what's cool about this one is when you open this up, And you unzip these. It's a built-in wallet as well. So you got your card slots on each side here, two slip pockets and a zipper pocket. So yeah, I was very, very pleased with uh, with this with this pattern. I will definitely be making more. So yeah, the stone crop stone crop satchel by by blue cow. Oh my gosh, there's a the Stone Crop Satchel by Blue Cala Patterns. <laughs> um, it really felt like I made a lot more than that this week. That was, uh, I guess that's one, two, three, four bags and a wallet. And before Tuesday, I still have to, I have a Gracie on the go. Um, I have a trailblazer that has to be done, another necessary clutch wallet, and a pocket pal uh, all to be shipped out by Tuesday. Oh my gosh, I love to torture myself. And then I have, after that, I'm working on a couple Dallas duffels, which I think I'm going to do binding instead of the drop in lining. I think, I think if I'm successful, maybe I will do a tutorial on that eventually as well. 
Um, mail opening. I, I have, I've actually already opened it. I just have it piled in front of me here. Do you guys want to see the fabrics that I just got in yesterday? Is that something of interest or no? Let me know. I don't want to bore you. So if you want to see it? Let me know. Yes, you want to see it. Okay, good. All right. So from fabricville.com or Fabricland, they're the same business. I got all of these. Um, so I am preparing, there is a, it's called Art Naps. It is a landscape type store, I guess here, but they also have a gift shop and everything. And because we can't do markets, uh, they have contacted a few artisans in the Kamloops area to do artisan spotlights. So they bring in one artisan, he gets to set up a table, show what you do, and make some sales. So I'm, I've am i actually never even done a market before with my items, so I don't know if they will sell at market or whatever, but I thought it would be fun to do. I've actually joined that with my mom. My mom, her name is Patty Gilbert. She's with uh, Cat's Crafty Corner. She does novelty hats and ponchos. She crochets them all. So she's going to bring her ponchos because it's a great time of year to be doing ponchos. So it's going to be nice because... Uh, I haven't seen her much, so we will be socially distanced there, but uh, we'll get to spend some time together. So I have to make some bags for my table. So one of my biggest selling bags right now is that Apricate Clutch Wallet from um, Lavender and Twine. So I got these fabrics for it. So for the front panel, I got this Bumblebees. And I have a blue... Um, cork coming to do them in from mm cork supply with this and then this this blue honeycomb is going to be the lining so i got that and then i've also mirrored it in yellows so i'm excited to make those so again i got these from fabricville.com and i got this one which is going to be i don't know what it's going to be yet i just really liked how the browns and the blues, I don't know what this is called. I probably should have written down. Let's see if it says on the salvage. It says fabrics by Craftsy, craftsy.com. This is called Amour Blue, craftsy.com. I don't know. Anyways, it was on sale, so I got it. And then I just like the colors of these. Court comes from court, Portugal. Yeah, it is. It does come from Portugal. You should definitely use it. Are there lots of cork fabric suppliers there? You would think that there would be. It's very expensive here, but I'm I'm completely addicted to it. Anyways, these are going to be some linings, I think, for a couple Moonwake or Rudinasia bags. We'll see. Not sure yet. And then this one I actually got. My friend is ordering a Rodonesia in uh, purple leather. I'm just experimenting with leathers right now to figure out uh, what I can and can't. So I made myself a Rodonesia bag with uh, some random leather and I think it was probably a three to four ounce leather. It was a little bit thick. Even my industrial wasn't too happy with you. Can you send me some? <laughs> That's pretty funny, Celia. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking I need to have like a two to th three ounce. I don't know. I'm still playing with it. Anyways, she wants purple leather for that. And she wants this as the lining. So this is on hold for her until I figure that out. Um, all of this I got from Dinky Doo. Again, I just got them because I like the colors. I love lime green. So I think these all have lime green in them. So these will be linings for some, some bag that I do. I don't know what I, my plan is for them just yet but they're super pretty. Uh, pretty. Again, dinkydoo.com. They are out of, I want to say Pip Meadows. Is it Pip Meadows or Maple Ridge, BC? I'm not sure, but they're one of my uh, favorite fabric stores as well here in BC. And then this one. So this one is called Flowers for Freya by Lindsay Call McRae. These are all Lindsay. Yeah, these are all Lindsay Call McRae. They're from the same line. Okay, so all those, I mean, it was a big, big mail day. Pit Meadows. Have you been there, Don? I, I know that they aren't open right now. They're only open for online orders due to COVID. So 
Um, why do I feel like I just dropped something? You guys can't see my space here. It is not very big. Like, it's so cluttered up. It's not even funny. Okay, I did have a list of these spoon flower fabrics, but I lost it. Oh, there it is. Let me go grab it one sec. Oh. Okay, and then I got my big spoon flower order in. So... I always order the petal signature cotton from um, from uh, Spoonflower. Um, for those in Canada, if you get up to about the two hundred dollar mark, you will get charged duty. I learned that. I ended up having to pay twenty seven dollars duty for this order, and I think it was just just about two hundred dollar order. So try to stay under under there if you don't want to pay duty. So yeah, that kind of sucks, but. What can you do? Okay, so I have a Dallas duffel bag that I'll be making next week. Um, so I'm doing the exterior all in black waterproof canvas. Um, and then the lining is going to be this hockey print. So this is uh, hockey players on black. Oh, it doesn't say who the design. Oh, it says designer is thin line textile. So again, I always order the... Uh, petal signature cotton it is kind of a it's not a soft cotton by any means but it works good for bag making because I always end up starching my fabrics anyways as I use them so I got that one um I am making for my son he is a he just deserves it he graduated um from the healthcare assistant program the week before COVID hit so he hit the ground running. He works in a retirement home. Um, he doesn't know what it's like, I think, to work during a, a normal time. So he's been working so hard, been doing uh, so much overtime. And I'm, I'm just, I'm so proud uh, that uh, he's in the medical field. He is just the most empathetic. I'm just so lucky. He is so much like his father. Um, yeah, he's an amazing, amazing young man. Anyways, as sad as it is, as a bag maker, he's been carrying his scrubs and his work shoes and everything in a grocery tote, you know, the cheap ones you buy for like a dollar. <sighs> so I'm surprising him and I'm going to make him a Dallas duffel as well. Uh, his favorite color is red, so it's going to be in a uh, waterproof canvas, a red waterproof canvas. Um... And he's a bit of a, a gaming nerd. He likes to play World of Warcraft and he's also very big into Warhammer. So on Spoonflower, I kind of thank God for healthcare assistance at first. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I don't know how he does it. Anyways, I kind of went into his room one day to figure out what kind of Warhammer stuff there was. And apparently this is a Blood Angel something. I don't speak Warhammer at all. So I'm making him a red bag. Red is his favorite color. With this is the lining. And I'm hoping that he will really like that surprise. And uh, yeah, so I'll be making that probably at the end of the week. I'm really excited to give it to him. He deserves it so much. Um, this one, this combination here is going to be uh, Erica Bowler bag. Super excited for this one. So these fabrics are, this will be like the main pouches and this is going to be the lining and we're doing it in a, that same teal, uh, the Rex vinyl teal color from Emmeline bags, um, for the vinyl of it. So this is called floral of coral mint, um, by Catalina Kim on Spoonflower. And then this one is white lace from Savita mm, <laughs> Ajo on Spoonflower. So that's going to be lovely and I'm terrible. I don't remember what these are for. These are for clients. I don't remember what this bag is going to be. I don't remember. I think this is going to be the lining for a uh, Moonwake bag, I think. And we're doing a beige, I think. If my client is watching this, I'm sorry. I don't have it in front of me what this is. I just know that the that's what it is. So this one is the Aztec beaded 3D Killam by Dana Dana Do Dana Do Designs on Spoonflower. And oh, I think this one is for actually my Auntie Connie's uh, Moonwake bag. I have to double check. Then this one is uh, 
Berry Meadow Floral by Sweeter Than Honey. Looks like a good one for Harmony Fringe Bag. Oh, you're right, Kathy. That would be amazing for a Harmony Fringe Bag. I'll tell you what I've ordered and if it comes in time. If it doesn't come soon, I'm going to have to go get a different fabric. But um, I have coming this uh, orange. They're flames. It's like orange and yellows and uh, red. So like fire. Um, and then I am going to use, uh, I'll show you in a second. I bought, I went to Tandy Leather and I got this leather and that's what I'm going to use for the fringe and everything. We have a huge uh, Harley Davidson community here. Um, my husband actually owns a Harley as well. And I'm really hoping that uh, that purse is going to call to some of the ladies that ride Harley um, here. It's I think it's going to be lovely. So that's what I'm waiting for. It's coming from Ontario from... Uh, funky monkey fabrics so usually it comes quite fast so I'm hoping it comes soon so I could start that tutorial at the end of the week because I think I'm going to be doing a tutorial every week for the next three um, once that comes so yeah that's all I got from Spoonflower so don't order this much all at once from Spoonflower if you're from Canada because it does get stuck stuck at customs and you do end up paying duty on it which it is what it is okay um I'm not boring everybody is everybody still good with this I have I want to share my leather with you. So uh, I was going to show you the, now I'll do that the next one. Over there I have, you know what? I'm going to go grab it. Just give me one second. One second. Okay, sorry, I'm not all that organized. Can everybody still hear me? Did it unclick? Are we good? Okay, I think we're okay. Okay, good. So there's the new, I hate wearing earbuds. Um, there's, I don't know if everybody's heard of So Pretty Vinyls. Um, it's a new, uh, her name is Tanya and she's, uh, okay, good. She's, uh, distributing vinyl she's a one person a one lady show down there um I wanted to my friend Melissa has ordered a bunch from her and I just wanted a sample so I ordered these panels just see what the quality is I mean how I got two of them so I'm actually going to make they are all oh right Rhonda you have some as well don't you um but I wanted a sample and I just love this panel so I am actually thinking I'm going to make this into a Simona bag I think it's going to be an awesome front panel for that um I'm going to make two bags out of it because I don't want to do I mean I could do them back to back on the Simona but I think I'll probably just do plain black on one of the sides so I can get two bags out of these but the vinyl quality it does have a this one has a fleece backing um but it's really, I'm, I'm Celia, right? Um, so it's so prettyvinyls.com, I think. Uh, I believe she ships international. Well, she obviously ships internationally because she's down in the States and I'm in Canada. So later on, I'll try to remember to put a link down in the bio or down in the description um, of this. She has, most of her stuff is sold out right now. She's waiting for her next shipment to come. And I know I'm going to load up on a bunch of her vinyl. Um, Makes me think of Mick Jagger from the Rolling Stones. Kind of makes me think of the lips from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. That's one of my favorite musicals. So I just kind of want to see it singing now. But I think this is going to be really popular for, uh, I'm hoping this bag, when I make it, will sell right away. So yes, I will try to remember to put that down in the description. So Pretty Vinyls. Uh, she has a Facebook page as well. Join her group. Um, she's slowly loading things onto her website. They say out of stock, but she wants us to be able to see what's coming. And then once they come, she sells out so fast. So join her Facebook page so you know when everything goes live and for sale. Okay. Um, oh my gosh. I really wish. I need a bigger room. I really do. Okay. So a couple weeks ago, I went to Tandy Leather in Surrey. Um, and I bought three hides. They look like this. I'm not too sure how they're going. They're only a one and a half to two ounce. Hi from Arizona. Hi, Maria. Thank you for tuning in. Um, these were like super cheap. They were only $69 Canadian for the full hide. 
Um, I want to say there was, I think it said there was 24, don't quote me on this, 18 to 24 square feet in these hides. These are called uh, the side lining hides. It's very thin. I'm not too sure how it's going to do for bag making. So I've got to make a couple, but you can see here, it's like, I think it's thinner than my vinyl. So I'm hopeful. It smells amazing. I just love the smell of leather. It's pretty drapey. So I'm hoping that it'll make good bags because, so I got that brown. I got it in black. I mean, it seems like a lot of leather for little money. So yeah, so I got it in black. So these are to experiment with. I think they might make some really good um, wallets, but I got it mainly because they had purple. I don't know if it looks like it's purple to you guys there, but for my friend that wants a purple one, I had to see if this would work. You don't have a notion how much I pay duty every time I buy buy from the US in Canada. Ugh. I hate duty. I really, really do. <laughs> Anyways, so I am trying to learn a little bit about leather because I want to be able to offer this to my clients, but I'm really hoping that these lining, it's called lining sides, side linings. It's, it's cowhide. So I love that purple. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So yeah, this is the actual side. This is the inside of it. So the black one, I'm actually, that's what I'm going to be using for my harmony bag for the fringe. So I think, and for the main part of the bag. So that's going to be a good test for me to see if it's good for make making. That purple is a rich looking color. Love it. It is so nice. Um, Tandy Leather does have a website. I know in tandyleather.ca they are all sold out. I don't know about tandyleather.com. They may have some on there, but uh, definitely uh, go check it out. They have some good prices. So upon looking for leather and researching the leather, um, I contacted Buckskin Leather out of uh, Nanaimo. They got three locations here. Can you guys all see that? I hope that's not backwards to you. And I apologize if it is. Um, Calgary, Edmonton, and of course here in BC. And they were really awesome to send me some uh, samples. So this is samples of the upholstery grade leather. And I think this is two to three ounce. What's the name of the vinyl place again, please? Oh, Margie, it's called So Pretty Vinyls. S-E-W pretty vinyls. Um, yeah, it's if you search them out on Facebook, you'll find them for sure. Uh, it's a really great group to be part of. So yeah, buckskin leathers, the leather feels absolutely amazing. Can you see that? Um, they sent me samples of all the colors and I think this is a two to three ounce. So I think this is the right weight of what I need. Um, I did ask them to send me a purple, the only one they had in purple, but I love this purple. Um, you're welcome, Margie. But it's a little bit thicker, thicker. I think it's a three to four ounce because if you look at the thickness between the two, you can definitely tell the purple is a little thicker. So actually this might be the thickness that uh, my bag was. I got, uh, I made my Rudinasia out of it and it was just from a scrap pack that they advertise on their Facebook page that I got. Um, so, yeah, but yeah, this upholstery grade. So I think in Canada here, you can get um, half hides, which are, I think they're half hides, it's $250 anyways. So it's not cheap for the leather. Um, for my Rudinasia, I needed about uh, 11 square feet. And I think a uh, half hide is 25. Don't quote me on that something like that. Um, but I couldn't have gotten long handles out of it. I could only do the short handles. I would have needed a full hide to get enough for the long handles. So yeah, I'm actually very impressed with the, uh, the buckskin leathers. So if you're thinking about that and you're in Canada or in the States, um, definitely, uh, check them out. I mean, and again, it's the, the, it's called the upholstery grade. It's just, I love it. I need more money <laughs> so I can just order all of the leather. Um, oh my gosh, I am surrounded by stuff here. So I think that is all I have to, oh, no, 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 I lied. Um, I forgot because I've been doing it a couple weeks now. Mainly, well, I will sell to the U.S.
my Siri clicked on and I unplugged it. Can everybody hear me? Oh my gosh, I'm having such technical difficulties today. Not sure if you sent the Davina line of leather from Peggy Sue also on Etsy. Divine line of leather. Oh, I'll have to check that out on Etsy. Again, it's the shipping that just gets me um, from the States. It's just sometimes it costs more to ship. The shipping costs more than the actual products. Like I want to order from Bodio so bad to get some of those vinyls and I just can't justify the shipping cost. And it's really what's sad is they're just over in Seattle, I believe. And that's only like five hours away. You explained so well. Oh, thank you, Margie. Um, if anybody ever has... It's Margie just saying she loves my tutorials and I explain so well. If anybody ever needs clarification or has some positive feedback and reinforcement for me, that would be awesome too. I just want to try to be the best I can. Um, anyways, shipping from the U.S. to Canada just is terrible right now. So anyways, I got sidetracked here. Um, so in Canada, it is, I mean, here in B.C. anyways, I find it's very hard to find Decaville and Decaville Light. Um and I have actually hooked up with the Pellon supplier here. So I can now sell Decavalite and Decaville and any of the Pellon brands. So I have added those onto my website. Um, it's beansbagsandhandicraftsco.com. I know it's the longest ever <laughs> URL, but um, if anybody needs any, it's on there uh, for the bolts. I usually put my order in on Friday. I do not have room to store them here. I have, if I can get them, I say I have a bunch in stock because I can order them and then I can get them in. Um, I usually get them in within five days or so and then, then I ship out right away. I tried to keep my shipping affordable. I think I just shipped uh, a whole bolt of Flex Foam and a bolt of Decaville Heavy to Nova Scotia and it cost um, $30. So that's not too bad. Um, these are Canadian funds if you're not in Canada. Um, so Decaville Light right now on, on my website, I do have the 35 inch uh, Decaville Light for sale by the half meter. I believe I have it on for $13.99 a half meter, I think, don't quote me on that, it's on there. Unfortunately, the Decaville Light 18 inch, the bolts and by the meter, they're still on back order with the supplier. So as soon as I get the word that those are available, I will put them as available on uh, on my website. So I'm just trying to make things more uh, accessible uh, here in Canada anyways um, to get them and where the shipping isn't gonna cost you like $60 to have it shipped up here. It's gonna cost you 20 to 30. If you're in the Kamloops area, I do offer free delivery. I have a delivery day once a week and I just drive around town and drop off, just drop at the front door or what have you. So um, yeah, I'm very excited about that. Um, so on there right now, I have uh, SF-101. I'm selling by the bolt and by the meter. I have the Flex Foam, uh, which that's just the sew and stuff. Uh, that's by the bolt and by the meter. Um, I have the by the meter stuff here all the time, except for the deck of a light because I don't have that unless it's the 36 inch because I actually ordered that in from a different company so I could have it here. Um, so yeah, if you need by the half meter, you will have it pretty fast because I just have to package it and let it go because I have uh, I have started bolts here already for that. Um, I have 809, um, Decaville Heavy is available by the bolt or the meter. What am I forgetting? Or if there is any Pellon product that you use, I know that Rhonda was saying that she was wanting embroidery paper or embroidery something and I can get that in as well. So uh, just shoot me an email and I will see uh, what the cost would be for that. I will definitely bring that in for you if you needed it. So anything Pellon, I have a whole catalog. I have it all available to me and I can get it for you. So you just need to shoot me a message on Facebook or, or through here or um, you can send me an email at info at beansbagsandhandicraftsco.com. Again, super long name. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm super excited about that. Not only because I can make it accessible uh, to you guys, but because now I don't have to wait for it. I can order it for myself and I know it can come in. Stabilizer. Stabilizer. Oh, Peltex. I can get Peltex in. Oh, you're talking about the embroidery stabilizer. Yeah. So... Yeah, so that's that's a new part of it. Again, I need a bigger studio. I take half the basement right now. 
I'm in the smallest guest room as we are. Like I swear, this corner here is like a quarter of the room. This room is so small, but it works uh, for me. So yes, super excited. More tutorials coming up soon. Um, again, thank you everybody for your patience. I'm sorry I've been a little bit non-existent on social media. I've just been swamped with the sewing part, which is actually my paycheck. Um, so I need to get that done before I can do this part. But I really, uh, I really do love making the tutorials and I can't wait to have more time to do that as I'm not booking myself as solid with the actual bag making stuff. Um, once I get past this week, it's so much, it's, it's, it's a much more manageable schedule. So I will be able to do more for you guys on here. Um, hopefully do a few more lives. I want to do a live cutting because a lot of people wonder how I trace out um, my pieces on the vinyl to have minimal waste because I draw all my pieces out on the vinyl before I cut uh, so I have minimal waste. Um, yeah, are there any questions before we go? Today is my one shopping day. It's the day I've done my hair. I've done my makeup. I'm headed to Costco to buy food. Thank you so much. You're the greatest friend. Oh, you're the greatest too, Margie. I just, I just so, so love the community we have here. Again, I started, I mean, I'd put a few things up on YouTube the prior year, but I mean, if you go back and see them, they're just mainly showing bags. Um, there was no tutorials, but I started it this time last year. We're at almost 3,500 subscribers, which blows my mind. Um, I, yeah, I just, and it's growing so fast. So never know where we will be. Uh, wish you were here in the USA. I wish you were here up in Canada. <laughs> I'm very much a Canadian. I love my country, but I mean, Canada and USA are definitely sister countries. So you love your videos. Thank you, Jeanette. Thank you for taking time to make the tutorials. I learned so much from you. Awesome. I'm, I'm so happy. I said, I, I, I learned, it was YouTubers that I learned from too. Um, I started, what got me going was actually Sarah Lawson with So Sweetness. That was where I got my first start. I started with the Baker Street bag and the Hobo bag. They were my first sewing things on my Elna domestic, um, Oh, thanks, Maria. I'm so glad that you found me and that uh, you you joined. Yes, love Canada too. Yes, I can't wait till we can actually travel cross border because maybe I'll be able to go down to like Bodio and stuff like that because it's really not that far from me at all. I can stop by Abbotsford and grab uh, Rhonda, who's Rhonda is actually one of my my admins on the page, so uh, <laughs> we're quite good friends. I can stop by Abbotsford and we can cross over the border and go shopping together. Um, so yeah, I started with Sarah Lawson and learned so much from Sarah and Danny. Um, I don't make that many Sarah patterns right now. Not to say that I don't want to. Um, oh, that's a lie. I just did her Hey Mercedes bag a few weeks ago. With Sarah then went to more. I was just going to say, um, my next step was, um, not last summer but the summer before I actually had a hysterectomy and I went on this whole YouTube thing I didn't know too much about YouTube and that's where I found Lauren Mormino and I just binged her channel and learned so much from her like and that's actually one of the reasons why I ended up I got something in my eye I think it's my hair <laughs> I learned so much from her and uh got really inspired by the community she had created and then of course about a year or so ago, I think Kasaya of Saya Swag Bags started her channel, um, but I discovered her about this time, well, just a little bit before I started my channel, and she really inspired me to maybe want to do the same thing. And again, I had been laid off from my job, and it gave me something to focus uh, my attention on and um, learn that I'm actually very camera shy. I'm one of those introverted ex extroverts, if that makes any sense. Uh, any sense at all everybody thinks I'm very outgoing but really I'm I'm not that's just kind of a front I put up um but I've really learned that I I do like to do this and I'm just loving the people that I've met I've made some really uh close friends and we're all learning from IR Kasaya is amazing I mean I still watch her channels um I'm not gonna lie she does the Aura Rosa um patterns first there's only I think there's myself Kasaya Lauren and Vanessa were the only four YouTubers that do Aura Rosa uh, pattern uh, tutorial so far. Um, Kasaya usually does them first. 
and then I sorry Don I just see my name I think you said something else that I missed it can everybody hear me still I'm so paranoid that this is unplugging and it goes silent <laughs> Anyways, Kasaya is amazing. So I usually, do you know, seems legit from us. Yes, I have watched uh, her on seems legit as well. She's, she's very good. I love her accent. I love watching her. So, um, anyways, uh, Kasaya, I'm not going to lie. When the new Orosa patterns come out, I watch her tutorials before I do mine. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? Uh, I called you Randy. Oh, it's okay. It's all good. Uh, yeah, um, the bag making community community is, is amazing. So um, those are just like my top ones said my inspiration came from Sarah. They came from um, Lauren and, and definitely Kasaya. They're just amazing. Yeah. So yeah, if you haven't checked out their channels, or if those are new names to you, make sure you do. Lauren is huge. Kasaya, congratulations to Kasaya. She just hit 10,000 subscribers. That's crazy because she's only been doing this about three or four months longer than I have and I'm only at 3,500. Not that I'm happy about 3,500, but I'm just so proud of her and happy for her success. Um, she does amazing videos and I, I'm just, I'm just so happy for her. So yeah, anyways, um, I have to try to unbury myself from everything that's around me. I have to try to do a few quick meet the bag tutorials. And then what time is it? Quarter to 10. Costco opens in 15 minutes. Um, so I got to go and grab some groceries before the husband uh, does his oil change because um, I don't want to go to Costco by myself. It's crazy there. So I'm going to make him come with me and he can do the heavy lifting. So thank you everybody for tuning in. I don't believe this vlog is almost an hour long. I think this is the longest one we have done. Um, I am going to do another studio tour, tour here pretty quick. I have completely revamped my space. My husband put in overhead lighting here. I don't know if you, well, it's there. <laughs> so it's a lot brighter over here. Um, again, I have my cutting table in the hallway. I actually should mention one of the reasons why I have my cutting table in a different room when I could do a lot of it at my table here is because I now work mainly sitting. I it forces me to get up and get my steps in because my Fitbit yells at me. So <laughs> I purposely have my cutting table in the other room where all of my stuff is. So I get exercise during the day. But anyways, I'll stop talking. I will let you guys get on with your day. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for tuning in. And I will try to remember to put a few of those links in the bottom probably when I get home from, uh, from Costco later on. So thanks everybody for tuning in. Have a great day. Stay safe. Stay home. We're getting close to the end of this whole COVID thing. So hopefully it goes well. I'll see you all soon. Love ya. Bye-bye.